It's always crazy, like on the day of a concert. Um, I don't know. I still can't get used to the fact that people will, that people like want to come see it, you know? So I think I get, I don't know. I felt a little nervous this morning. And I, as I was thinking about it, like Laura and I were talking about it and the time's flown by, you know, it's, it's gone really fast. In fact, I remember standing on this stage, like when we first built this building before, you know, so many of these albums had ever been written or, and a lot of the songs really, you know, over the course of the years have been inspired right here from this spot, thinking about this church, these people. I went back and listened through some of the albums and, um, you know, it's staggering. Like my kids, my first album, we had no kids, you know. And, um, and so it's been 20 years, been with the same record company, been with Integrity, who are amazing. Um, and yeah, when I was recording this album, somebody said, this is your 10th album. And I, it just blew me away. If you told me way back at the beginning that I would ever do 10 albums, that I, I don't think I would have believed it. So it's a real privilege. I feel incredibly thankful to still be doing it. Um, there's been a lot of a lot of artists and bands that have kind of come came and went and um, still here <laughs> I can't believe it it's amazing so I'm thankful man I'm looking forward to it and I think most people don't wake up in the morning going my, my best days are still in front of me but I feel like that I, I I was telling the guys the other day when we were rehearsing that I've never I've never done an album and like right when I got done felt like I was ready to do another one and like ready to get back in the studio and I'm actually really excited to get back in and keep writing songs and I think too working with our Thrive team and just being a part of this church and all that God's doing through it it's pretty hard to not be inspired so I've been saying this a bunch about this album that it's full of reminders about what God says about us and about what if we're Christians truly what we believe about God and um, I tell people this all the time, it's, we, we, we often forget what we know, and I know I'm guilty of that. And there's times when I've had to actually just like lay in bed at night and verbally say the things I know to be true. And it's staggering if you do that, if you actually say, I know this is true, I know this is true. It's amazing the things you know to be true that sometimes you don't live by. And so I hope tonight people are reminded of who God is. I hope pe tonight people are reminded of what God thinks about them and how he views them and that they're inspired um, to live the life that God's called them to live and that are, they're ready to get out and make something happen for the kingdom of God. And um, so I think that'd be the goal, you know, it's just let's, let's give it all tonight. Let's worship God. Let's give him the praise that he's worthy of. And it, it's a, I don't do well with this dynamic of a night like tonight feels like, oh, it's all about me. But it's, it's not all about me. This is all about God's faithfulness. And if this is the catalyst for that, if it's my 10th album happens to be the catalyst for this gathering, great. But I know it's not about me.